Okay, so delay section we have, uh, it goes like the first three are 1 to 99 milliseconds and goes all the way to 6,000 milliseconds. We have analog, tape, modulate, reverse, chorus, and delay, tempo. Um, tempo would be where you can tap it and then, you know, you know, tap a certain tempo. It comes over from MIDI from the outside via USB and then you can set, you know, is, is it, let's say, let me show you here, right here. It's, we're tapping it and then you can control. So yeah, so for some reason, those are the only two uh, settings, dotted eight note and a quarter note. Um, interesting that we have the Terra Echo. It's sort of like uh, Roland says, it's, it's neither delays nor is it reverb. It's something very interesting, it creates spatial stuff. Um, I tested it, sounded great. <laughs> Um, analog delay is, I think, up to 400 milliseconds, uh, 30 to 400 milliseconds. Uh, that goes for analog tape and modulate. So for these three here, so very short delays because, you know, they're analog based or basically old school based. Um, they didn't have those long delay times that you need a digital delay for. Um, there's a reverse, there's a chorus and a delay and so forth and this is all being controlled by this. And the last feature is the phrase loop where you can play against yourself and loop phrases and then practice that way. I'm not going to explain too much about that. That feature is already available on the ME70. Uh, by the way, the ME50 didn't have that. Now, to the preamp section, I think the preamp section is really, really uh, important. Let me zoom out here. Preamp se section right here. Um, let me zoom in as much as I can. Here we go. Let's see. All right. So this is the preamp section up there, right there. Here you go. I'm walking around. And so you have the gain knob, like on a regular, you know, guitar amp, the bass knob, middle, bass, middle, treble, and then level. Um, and so we have an AC, a clean, a tweed, a crunch, a combo, a lead, a drive, a stack, and a metal. All they go from here, so this would be uh, clean all the way to stack, and then metal, and then we have, actually it starts with AC, which would be, you know, for an acoustic guitar, right? And then we have clean. It says this is a clean, uncolored sound without the idiosyncrasies of a typical guitar amp, such a trebly character, a boomy low end. So this is not a guitar amp that you would expect from, um, you know, from guitar simulations. They have a few simulators, and sometimes the clean amp is actually, you know, a I don't know one of one of the classic amps, but just set clean without any preamp, um, you know, without any, without too much gain. So any amp can sound clean, but this is not what it is. Remember, we're not simulating a cap here, really. We're simulating sort of a preamp. <laughs> Thank you.
know, you have stack which and combo, which would, you know, uh, contradict that. But mostly this is a preamp and goes then into a speaker. So um, it's not quite the same uh, concept that line six utilizes. So that's why when I tried out clean, I was expecting, you know, just a clean classic amp. And I was like, wow, that sounds really clean. So it almost sounds like I'm going in directly. And this is pretty much, pretty much true. Uh, then we have Tweed, and Tweed uh, simulates the Fender Bassman's vintage crunch sound. Interesting choice, right? The Bassman, that's a pretty big amp. Uh, it was originally designed for the bass, but then used mostly uh, by guitar players. Crunch, when it says crunch, it says advanced crunch sound that allows the nuances of your picking to be expressed even more faith faithfully than in the conventional combo amps. So it doesn't tell us really what it is. It's not modeled anything, uh, you know, after anything specific to be compared with. That's cool. Doesn't have to be with me at all. But I was kind of like, you know, the typical crunch settings, you know, certain amps that are, you know, crunched a little bit. I was like, you know, thinking what, which amp is that? I didn't really feel it or hear it now. Okay, I'm glad I'm looking at this thing here. I'm looking what, what you might be looking at. This is it right here. This is what I'm reading back to you, okay? And I tested all of them, so I'm allowed to read it. Um, so, uh, crunch, then we have a combo. That now in terms of the combo, um, the combo now in terms, uh, um, the combo simulates the Vox AC's AC30's vintage crunch sound. All right, now here we go with something concrete people can relate to. Uh, then if you go to lead, uh, lead sustaining vintage lead sound of the Boogie MK series. That's great. And drive, uh, when we go to drive, what drive supposed to be an, an advanced straight drive sound that works well in a broad range of situations. A sound like this cannot be obtained from any existing amps. Well, we're going to be the judge of that in a little bit. I'm going to tell you that. 